Nations tonight surrounding a report calling out Jesuit priests accused of sexually abusing minors, some possibly here in Arizona. Brophy College Prep is a Valley Catholic high school run by the Jesuits. ABC 15's uh, Justin Pizera has been talking with the school and advocacy groups. And Justin, right now I understand this is just a waiting game. It really is, Stephanie, because this report is not expected to be released until sometime next month. But the thing is, uh, this letter sent to Brophy parents and alumni really raising some eyebrows because the school says it is possible some of these priests in question at some point served here dating back almost 70 years ago. The school's president starting off her letter to parents and alumni saying she has a heavy heart, explaining an extensive investigation by Jesuits West Province, the organization that assigns priests to Brophy. The organization saying it is compiling a list and will release the names of every priest with a credible allegation of sexual abuse to a minor dating back to the 1950s. The news surprising to Tasha Meneker, who helps head up the Arizona Coalition to End Sexual and Domestic Violence. Simply releasing a name is one step, but then what do we do with that information? At this point, we don't know how many names are on the list or where they were missioned to, but the organization does have an extensive reach, assigning Jesuits to universities, high schools, and middle schools in 10 states, including Arizona, California, Nevada, and Utah. We have to imagine what it would be like if you were someone who was abused and you didn't report, and then you see the name of your perpetrator in a report. Medicare worries about the survivors and how they will be left to cope. They might not have talked to their family about it. They might not ever have told anyone else about it. And, and what questions might that raise for survivors and those people around them? Brophy says if any of the school's clergy or clergy faculty are on the list, it will move fast to cooperate with the investigation and prosecute to the fullest extent of the law. It's also encouraging anyone who ever felt victimized to come forward. So I did talk to Brophy today, the school's president, not commenting on this report any further other than that letter that it did send to parents and alumni. Again, that report is expected to be released December the 7th. We're live in Phoenix, Justin Pizarro, ABC 15, Arizona.